I've got to thank my friend Michael Klaas. He showed me this trick by using a symbol in the cladding of the wall using a wall hole you can create three-dimensional cladding. What I've done is I've created a wall with a cladding component just here. I've created a symbol that's got a wall hole in it which will then create these shapes. Now I had to create the inverse of the shape, make it into a 3D symbol and create a wall hole for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to take away all my holes, I'm going to show you how quick it can be. Starting in a plan view, this object here, this is my symbol in a wall. So I'm going to take that away. This is a symbol in a wall. I'll take that away as well. It's a symbol in a wall. We'll take that one away. And so is this one, a symbol in a wall. Now that little 2D locus is the thing that allows me to place it and select it. So let's have a look at this in 3D first, and you'll see that it's got no weatherboards. Now I have, as I told you, I've created a component 36 millimeters thick, which is the correct size for my weatherboards. So now I grab my symbol. It's my symbol tool. So I click on the wall, click again, click on the wall, click again, click on the wall, click again, click on the wall, click again. Now what we'll find very quick, I've created all of my weatherboards. And you'll notice that my windows actually punch a hole in the symbol as well. So if you don't believe me, I'll just move that window down the wall there. Uh, let's just put another one in as well. So grab my window tool. Let's put in another window. There's one there. Let's have a look in 3D. There they are. They're in 3D and they're perfect. So this is a really cool trick and it uses the concept in Vectorworks called the wall hole. When you create a symbol and these window objects automatically make a hole in the wall. But you can actually tell Vectorworks that you want the wall hole to be a different size. And that's what this symbol does. So you can see here, let's just edit the symbol, let's edit the 2D component, and we'll see that there's just a locus. Let's edit the 3D component, and it's just got a 3D locus. Let's edit the wall hole component, and we'll see the inverse of my weatherboards. So you can see there, I've got the inverse of my weatherboards, I've created uh, 30 or 40 weatherboards high, and I just have to make it big enough so that it covers any of the projects that I'm likely to work on in terms of length and height. And that's how we do it. We place that on the wall, punches the hole in the wall, uh, creating those weatherboards. Now you can create other shapes. Now I'm just going to select that wall there. Now if I need to go back to a plan view and select, I'm going to get rid of that window because I need to click on that symbol in a wall there. And let's click on that symbol in a wall there, two symbols in the wall, and I can replace those, and I can replace them with a different size weatherboard. So the other one was 165 millimeters. This one's 180 millimeters. And when we go back to the 3D view, there it is. Now you might not see the difference, so let's turn the corner, and we should see that the weatherboards don't line up because I've got two different pictures going on here. This is the 180, this is the 165. Now this is a really cool trick and you can use it to create all kinds of other things like board and batten, panels, grooves, all sorts of stuff. Hey, if you like this movie, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really encourages YouTube to show my movies to other Vectorworks users. Now I am going to cover this technique in absolute detail showing exactly how to make it but that's going to be in my community. If you want to join my community, click on the link in the description. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.